Alright, what is up YouTube? Lunar here, and today I'm going to do a quick little video on how to convert your um, like colors and color swatches into PMS color, which is, I think it stands for Pantone Matching System or something like that. Um, and the reason you might want to do this is so that it's easier for um, businesses and other people to match the colors that you use in your, in your work. Um, and another example is like, you know, you're designing your own business card, but you need to send the business card to a company to get it printed. Um, and, you know, they might need to know specific uh, colors that you used. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm sure you've noticed in my videos that I like to have these uh, swatches here. I know some people don't have any. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they get rid of them. But I like to have these for, like, base colors. You know, like, I want to create a navy. Well, I would just do this and then, like, make it a little bit darker. But anyway... Getting off topic, uh, I'm going to make some squares for my swatches, and I think I will do a navy uh, kind of color scheme. And I'm going to come over here and select all these colors first. Um, let's do white, and then maybe like an orange. Um, okay, so for the navy, I'm going to double click into here and make it a little bit darker, because I like some dark navy. And then for this blue, um, maybe make it a little bit darker, maybe something like this. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter, but still like the grayish hint. And this I'm going to do like a cream color, drag it down here to the orange, or like a natural tan, whatever. So that's kind of cool. These three uh, together are kind of neat. And then with this, um, maybe something like that. I don't know, like a burnt orange, some kind of orange. Anyway. And, you know, there's a lot of websites that you can go online and um, grab, like, maybe some color schemes that you like if you don't want to create your own color schemes. But, uh, yeah, so now you have your colors. Well, it's like, well, how do you, what do you, you know, what do you do next? So you want to select one of these colors, and actually you can drag this over into your swatches so that if you make a new square, you know, you can have that over there, you know, ready to use. And so I'm going to do that with each one of these. Um, and it's kind of cool. You can also drag like patterns into the swatches and have like a pattern swatch. Uh, oops, drag that one up there. But yeah, so now here's my four colors that, uh, you know, I would be using for my project. They're slightly different than what's up here. So, you know, they're nice and easy to get to. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shift click and select all of them. And then you want to hit this button right here. It's, it's a new color group. So you want to click it. And you can name your color group. I'm just going to leave it color group 1. And now what you'll see is it will move them down here. Once you have your new color group, uh, you want to select this little wheel, edit color group. And then, once you're here, you want to select this little box, little of the, you know, whatever. And then go to color books. And then Pantone solid coated. And then you'll see that it changes this to where you can actually see lines inside. And then you want to hit OK. And I'm going to hit yes. And so now you'll see that each one of these little swatches has a little dot. That's what you want. Um, sometimes I think if you hold it over, yeah, if you hold it over, it'll even say Pantone 7618C. And like this one is Pantone 7499C. So the C means that it's coded. Um, if you were to make an uncoded swatch, it would be a U. And you can also see it by, if you double click one of these, it'll have it up here. It's kind of grayed out. I guess that means because you can't change it. Um, but let's see if you change it back to RGB. So yeah, now it's back to RGB and you can kind of change it. And then it's got the RGB. So like, what if the company needs the RGB values? And you can probably, yeah, change the CMYK. Same thing. Um, basically, you just need a way to tell anybody who's working on your logo or your design, like what colors to use without just saying oh it's a it's a burnt orange and it's tan because like their tan and your tan is probably not gonna be the same tan um, but anyway that's how you convert uh, your your color swatches to RGB and or not RGB but PMS colors this is how you this has been a video on how you um, convert your custom swatches to PMS colors so I hope this helped and have a great New Year's